How's it going, YouTube? So I'm Jay. This is my girlfriend, Maria. Um, we're getting this heat press. We just got this heat press to help out with the shirt business. This is to, um, for those homies, our little sh brand that we're trying to start right now. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and unbox this for you guys. So the, initially the box came with the, this little paper right here explaining all the vinyl and all the type of things. Um, I had already unboxed it before so that's why I'm not showing you guys me actually unboxing the box but as you see it was surrounded in two styrofoams and the, and the heat press itself was actually wrapped in plastic paper. Um, pretty well maintained, kind of heavy so make sure you guys use two people to bring this up and down or yeah don't get hurt. All right, so I just unboxed it. Um, you guys, you guys saw in the voiceover right here. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I just plugged it in. It has a little plastic on it. I'm about to take this off right now. So as you see, this is US cutter. And we do have the little power button over here. There we go. And then we have the neutral shirt and the mug button right here. So we're gonna have the shirt. And this is like a button to reset, I guess. But yeah, on and off, shirt, neutral, cup. I'm um, just gonna leave it in shirts because that's all we're doing, shirts and sweaters. Uh, I thought this was a sticker. I was gonna try removing it and put my logo on here. Let me see. Move the autofocus. But yeah, this is a volcano heat press from the US Cutter. We just went to go pick it up last night. And as you see, Pretty nice, pretty nice. It comes with this little thing right here. And then right here, we just took out that little attachment book. This was, it was this right here. So this kind of a quick little setup guide. It's just like that. And then this right here is where you plug in the, the mug attachment. We do have the mug attachment, but we don't really do that at the moment. So now it's just start, uh, that's just in our garage. And, yeah, and that's how you do it. We're about to heat press the shirt. Okay, so we just set up, let's see if it focus. We just set up the heat, the timing, and everything, and now we have the, the logo here. Uh, this is just a test run. Uh, we also did get a, um, a little Teflon sheet to put on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't know if it's supposed to beep or not, but it's been like that for like a couple minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. So. Oh, that's fucking strong. Okay, I gotta loosen up the grip a little bit. I'm just gonna hold it like this for now. So if we see that, that's the grip and I didn't even mess around with it, so fuck it. So as you see, I believe this was a cool peel. So I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit. Can I peel it? Yeah. Can I peel it now? No, 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 not right now, but you can peel it. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna make this a little bit looser just cause I cannot shut that. All right, that should be good. Let's see if I can shut it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this off for now. Let's see how this came out. Still a little warm, is okay? You sure? You see that? Um, we should probably press it one more last time, right? Okay. I think it's fine. Oh, it does feel a lot better. 
You want to? Yeah, let's fix it really quick. And then yes, for safety things, we're just gonna repress it one quick time. Just with the heat that it has currently. Oh, that's a lot better. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't even push the other one down. There you go. Yep, yeah, that's how it looks. Going away, not an excuse. This is the first logo I did. Well, yeah. Oh, and I just had to take this little dot off. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. Pretty dope. It's a little bit slanted, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a test. It's, it's a little bit slanted, it's but it's just run. it's just a little demo purposes. Uh, it's, we're, we are going to be working on some other designs as well, but yeah, this is going to be it. It was just a quick little in, um, unboxing video, kind of. But yeah, this is a volcano from the the volcano heat press, the white one, the 15 by 15 by US Cutter. Uh, I still don't really know that much about the settings, but the more I mess around with it, the more I can give you guys an update. But yeah, check it out. It looks pretty good. Pretty cool. Okay, so some things that I really like about this heat press is how easy it is to use. This is extremely easy to use, really easy to just plug in and then just get it started. There's only two settings for the mug and everything. So it was a quick setup as well. Um, it doesn't take too much space at all. So if you just need something smaller, uh, this is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty big compared to a regular iron, but this is pretty good itself. Um, the other thing I, I did like as well is how clean the little display is. It's really vibrant and you can really distinguish the letters and I like it, it's pretty easy to see. But yeah, those are the quick first impressions that I got from then. Uh, leave a comment down below on why you are actually looking into getting a heat press because my reason is I'm trying to start a, a brand, a little brand or something, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys are interested in following and learning more. I'm a, I am going to be sharing a little bit more updates on my YouTube channel. Uh, also follow us on my Instagram on Los Homies Clothing. We do be posting some updates on some of the things that we've been making as well. And I do have a couple sweaters I already made using the C-Press. But yeah, thank you guys. Have a good day. Peace.